Okay, so another nice question. So did you get an answer for question number 13? So I will not take much time in uh, clarifying these things, uh, but I want to tell some uh, more important information uh, that you can um, uh, do. Okay, so I will use the board here. Okay, so the question says, uh, you have a heptane C7H16 uh, and uh, you are going to use 10 grams of it. So when you uh, calculate the molecular weight of heptane, it is 100 uh, gram per mole. So basically you are going to use 0.1 mole of this with oxygen. Uh, that they have given, you are going to use uh, 1.3 moles. Okay. And they are telling when you uh, undergo this combustion, uh, carbon monoxide plus carbon dioxide is formed along with water, which is still in the liquid state. Okay. And uh, the number of moles at the end of this reaction uh, is 1.1 moles of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and remaining CO, remaining O2, including remaining O2, the number of moles, 1.1 moles. Okay. And they are asking moles of CO gas form. They are asking about this CO gas. So this is the typical reaction, okay? You can have many other uh, different uh, methods to do this. <clears throat> Normally what I prefer is a general method, okay? The idea here is uh, first thing that you need to balance this uh, equation. Because the important here is when you want to balance this hydrogen, 16 hydrogen, you can put eight here. There is no problem and you don't have to worry about the number of moles of this that you use it's just 0.1 moles okay and then after balancing this hydrogen you need to balance this carbon okay so there are carbons here as well as here okay so these two summation in fact, the sum should be seven because there is seven gram. <clears throat> okay. So I can put six here and one here in front of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Okay. And I can put here five, two. I can put here four, three. I can put here uh, three uh, and again four. Like that, there can be many combinations that you can try and see whether it will finally fit to this 1.1 moles. For an example, I can put 6 and 1 and then I can tell this is completely uh, done. So therefore, uh, you can uh, calculate the number of oxygens and put here and see how much oxygen is reacted and you can get the remaining amount and this formed amount, you can add those and see whether it is equalized to 1.1 moles. Okay, so this could be then trial and error. Okay, like you can put 6 and 1, 5 and 2, 4 and 3. But it is not necessary to do like that. Because when you have to put these two, the sum is seven, you can take one of these as X for an example. For an example, here I have taken uh, carbon monoxide as X, the stoichiometry. Then carbon dioxide will eventually become seven minus X because the total sum should be seven because there are seven carbon, okay? And then here you have eight oxygen, X oxygen, 7 minus x o2 okay so when you do this uh correction you will see here it will be 11 
minus x over 2. This is the amount of oxygen uh, that is going to uh, balance the entire oxygen content in the right hand side. Okay. Then you need to understand 0 0.0 moles of uh, heptane is going to be completely reacting because they have given the complete combustion. And here, how much O2 that is going to be reacted is 0 0.1 times the stoichiometry, basically 0 0.1 times 11 minus x over 2. Okay. So this is the amount that is going to react. So what is the remaining then? Remaining would be 1.3 moles minus the reacted amount. Okay. So this could be the remaining amount, the entire. And there is no remaining amount from the heptane. Then how much CO is formed? So here the reacted amount of heptane is 0 0.1. So CO should be formed according to the stoichiometry. Like if you have two here, 0 0.1, if one, 0 0.1 moles of heptane is reacted, if this is 2 here, 2 CO, it should be 0 0.2 moles of CO that should be formed. So how do you calculate? You multiply 0 0.2 by the stoichiometry to get 0 0.2. So this is similar. So how much CO is going to form? 0 0.1 X because we don't know. And here also it would be 0 0.1 times 7 minus X. And when you add all these three, basically, finally, it should be equal to 1.1 moles. Okay. So this is a general idea to have calculation on uh, this type of uh, questions, right? So first you balance it generally, uh, putting uh, by using uh, one of the elements as X. Then you need to understand the balancing part of oxygen. Here there is X oxygen, here there is uh, 14 oxygen minus 2X. So X minus uh, 2X is minus X. So that is here. And there is 8 oxygen plus uh, X plus 14. So it is 22 uh, oxygen. So when you put O2, you need to divide it by 2. So 22 divided by 2 is 11. X divided by 2 is X over 2. That is why here this 11 minus X over 2. Okay. And when you have this one, then what you have to do here is 1.3 minus 1.1 uh, 1 .1 here. And plus, uh, yeah, basically you can uh, separately keep here is 1.3. Uh, then minus is uh, the amount that is that you are going to put here. So there will be again minus here, uh, x over 2, 0 0.1. Uh, now then this becomes minus and this becomes plus. And 0 0.1x, 0 0.7 minus 0.1x is equal to 1.1 moles. And when you solve this, this is a simple calculation, just a very, very simple calculation. And when you solve this, you will have this x as uh, 4, which means uh, here your stoichiometry is 4, and here the stoichiometry is 3. Okay. So basically how much CO is formed? 0 0.1 into 4, which is 0 0.4 moles. Okay. Don't think this is a big, this is very simple calculation. Okay. So this is one of the ways that you can do. Otherwise, you need to go for a trial and error method by this for putting here 3. And when you put 4 and 3, you will get this 1.1 moles at the end. But you don't know whether this is 4 and 3 or either this can be 6 and 1, 5 and 2, 2 and 5. So there are many combinations that you can take. But if you put x and 7 minus 6, automatically you can quickly have a conclusion. Okay. So did you understand this one? So did you get this idea? 
that is very uh, important to uh, understand the concept why i used here x because there are many combinations that you can go with and if you don't know this uh, x and 7 minus x then you have to go with by combining to balance these seven carbons here in the question in the heptane then you have to go with one six six one two um five five two there are many combinations that you can take so it will it will become like a trial and error method it's a little bit difficult to go because if you just put like four and three from the first point which means that you are lucky at that time because you will see then okay so i put four and three i got 1.1 1 .1, so that's done otherwise it will take much time but when you have this type of questions always remember uh, this is common in uh, partial combustion although they have given here the complete combustion of heptane normally in partial combustion we see this uh, mixture is formed carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide uh, because when it is a complete combustion more or less carbon dioxide is only formed but this question is uh, formulated a little bit Right, so this is uh, 0.4 moles that is uh, from the moles of CO gas, okay.